right, I just wanted to do a small video for everybody. Just taking a walk here at the nice park. Uh, well, it doesn't do any justice. But that sunshine sh sure is good. How is everybody doing with the recent things going on? Yeah, a lot of opinions for sure. And uh, uh, rumors and rumors inside of rumors. We're definitely in a, a purgation. Is that how you say it? And yeah, ultimately we trust in the higher things. I mean, we know we are of the spirit and the body is mortal anyway. And here is a huge stark reminder that we are undergoing a uh, global change. Uh, it's amazing, I was just thinking. I hope the camera's not too bad, guys. Don't mind the bumpy walking. <laughs> um, yeah. When you think about mortality and the things that scare people and, rem and remind them of things, um, yeah, we're, we are in this flesh. We are like a walking... Uh, death anyways apart from that you know mortal aspect and people don't seem to talk a lot about it or they keep their faith about things private and then when something like this happens a pandemic um, then all of a sudden everybody's like wide awake ah, and the, the pressure and the stress of survival become prominent predominant I wish that I didn't take I really wish that I didn't take uh traumatizing things to wake people up, whether it was, you know, a war of some kind or uh, conspiracies within conspiracies, I don't know, 9-11, things like that, and now this coronavirus stuff. You have to be strong to know that whatever is happening is understood by the divinities. That's That should be, maybe I'll put the trees in the background here and talk, that should be a default understanding, that everything is ultimately safe within the great scheme of things, as it were. We are experiencing, um, yeah, an unraveling. This earth was never supposed to stay and last forever and ever and ever and ever. Anything that's made, anything that's manifest, anything that takes shape from outside of the great invisible spirit or the great mind and or, it's the same thing, uh, is on a temporary time frame, so to say accept that which is life. Life belongs to itself. So our concerns for the planet, I mean, yeah, it doesn't mean spread death and die and all that, like fight the good fight to the end and have respect for life and its various forms, or most of them anyway. <laughs> doesn't mean it's a respect of virus as such, well, because it's chasing death and spreading it, potentially. So, yeah, this is this is a sobering thing. There's going to be things like this happening. Um, many ancient prophecies talk about all these things happening right now. It doesn't mean we interpreted them perfectly according to our own intellect or understanding or grasping. But if you are even a little spiritual and pay a little bit of attention and read even a little bit of things and have a little bit of dreams, even on the small scale... Uh, you can be quite aware that these things were told to us a long time ago. And this is sort of a quote-unquote normal outcome when the school lesson teaching thing becomes, uh, at this point, a crucial point. Humanity cannot live blindly and just materialistically anymore and, uh, you know, take for granted things. When you think about... The dark rulers, I'm not talking about even those in the body, those in the body that, that follow them in ignorance and self-deceit. But if you think about the, the dark rulers, uh, when they're bent on ignorance, their very modality of being, their mode of operation and all that is based on vanity and anger and jealousy and all those things. So when we see humans in the flesh, you know, treating each other badly, it's because they're following these things. The tree is known by the fruit. So, yeah, people are chasing uh, vanities, basically. To live and fight for a body that's going to die anyway, and to kill your brother or sister, or go to war against your neighbor, based on temporary mortality anyway, is pretty insane when you really think about it. So this is the humbling effect. This is the, um, the taking away 
of the vanities and the illusions, definitely. So those of us who were looking into these things are, in a sense, being rewarded for not rubbing it into people and going, told you so, although maybe a little bit, I don't know. <laughs> but ultimately, yeah, people that were not prepared are being shocked the most. And again, it comes down to the parable of Jesus talking about those who built their home on rock as opposed to those who built it on sand. So now these storms and tribulations are coming, these tests. He's trying things. Oh, please. Yeah, yeah. I'm filming myself. Vas-y. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Uh, people are finding themselves in, you know, like a mask uh, confusion unless they were paying attention to uh, these sort of things, like natural instinct things. Like if you're... If you're in the know of what's going on according to the the divine plan the divine mind rather than the human ego and separation from it so we are like a two-part creation indeed uh, in a way of speaking in the sense of uh, we see our ignorant part passing away and our enlightened part being validated and verified and graduating graduating from this world and it taking these things to boost us now we don't know how bad uh, day by day exactly how things are going to go. Things could get far worse before they get better. I don't know. I really hope not. A lot of people are promoting peace and hopeful things and saying, yes, yes, so the end of darkness is over and uh, the financial things are going to be great and this and that. All, that's, all of that is wonderful, but doesn't mean it's true per se and coming in a quick fashion necessarily. I, for one, wish that it would. But it doesn't mean everybody else is ready. I hope that we don't have to see too many more worse things before it gets better. But we just don't know. I was reading from some of the my favorite Gnostic scriptures lately. And I remember the Christ saying in some of the hidden gospels. was saying, be content while you are still discontent in this world. I'll repeat that. Be content while, while you are still discontent in this world. Meaning... We are pilgrims here. We weren't going to have necessarily uh, the best gig in the flesh anyways. It is it is a pilgrimage. It is a sojourn. It is the jail, the school, the hospital. It is a humbling experience. It's beautiful and it's ugly. And it's neutral in between and, and everything you can imagine. Some people think that this world is paradise, even if they're living in illusions because they have some supposed riches and uh, easy access of living but they're deceived the most because it's temporary and falling through the cracks of their fingers, as it were. And ultimate reality is not based on that, which is passing. As we keep saying over and over. <laughs> so, what I can recommend to everybody is please stand firm in faith. Be strong in God. Hold yourself deeply in your heart. Know that whatever happens, you're going to die anyway. Immortality was here anyway. Try not to panic too much. The worst thing that I see happening is people fighting each other, killing each other over resources. That's uh, always been a fear of mine, fighting over food and water and, and whatever else. If people are panicking and buying you know, an overabundance of supplies and toilet paper and all this stuff and doing their neighbor a disservice by amassing too much, well, what does that say about these individuals? We are supposed to advance towards being a good team, but it's taking the time. Maybe not everybody's ready to graduate. Maybe some of us are were there yesterday and we're tired of it, of it. Maybe most people are in the middle of that. I don't know. Let's just do what we can, stay strong. God did not abandon us. It's just we're seeing, as we're learning to walk on our own two feet in a really good way of true self-responsibility, trying to create an actual global democracy would be wonderful. And hopefully it's not taking, you know, decades or centuries to get there. We don't really seem like we have the time to waste, right? I think that's kind of obvious. And, um, yeah, it's very interesting. We're, we're definitely seeing the time of anxiety. This is like about to give birth. We are in the womb coming out. And, uh, yeah, the big moment is upon us. So let's not fear these things. Let's just stay content while a little discontent put it that way and uh, help each other support each other keep encouraging keep sending love love is the strongest thing of all and we need to use it to be it and overcome the fear the fear is not going to help us 
it's only going to cause misery and further suffering, as you know. So let's be true, let's be wise, let's be sentient and awake and uh, do the best we can for love and wisdom and stand firm and be the voice of hope for others uh, who don't have it as much and be strong and let's not make things up, let's not uh, you know, uh, exaggerate good things and certainly let's not exaggerate bad things. There's a lot of fake news out there and uh, people's suppositions and then it just becomes a mess of things. So let's just try and uh, stay true to what we know, what is common to all. And as far as passing things that we see in the outer world, um, be strong and know that this too shall pass. Let's just make the best of it. Yeah. Sending all my love to you, all you guys. Thank you for watching my humble channel. And all we can do is keep on keeping on. All right. Let's uh, let's be good to each other and hold the fort. We're trying to ground the world rather than lose our minds in it. So that's the point. All right. Take care. God bless. Namaste. Catch you guys soon. Ciao.